welcome to my channel if you're not new welcome back i'm ashley michelle and i'm back with another wig install you guys the hair content has been flowing okay and i just want to thank all the companies sending me here so getting straight into this i'm starting off with my makeup already done i got my mix under my bonnet that's why i look like it's filled with air don't play with me today's unit is from yolova hair and i do want to issue the biggest thank you to them for sending me this wig it is freaking beautiful i love everything about it all of their information will be in the description bar as i do with most of my companies so let's get in straight into this hair this is the hair fresh out the box um no i'm lying this was when my you know bleached and all that stuff so this is the cap construction it's three combs like in the front then this one in the back with an adjustable strap it is a 13 by 4 26 inch water wave frontal unit and i believe it's 180 percent density and it really does show this here is like not too thick and not too thin it's like just right so here you just see me cutting out the comb just so that i can ensure the flat is flat install um, I think those combs are only good when you're using, I mean, when you're doing like glueless installs. And most of the time I do adhesive, so I cut it out. And even if I do do a glueless, ain't nobody pulling on my wig, so yeah. I just tinted that really quickly with my makeup and then y'all see my big forehead and my meeks. And I was trying to wig on, I did pluck, but I didn't pluck anywhere near enough. Um, I will say that the front of this was very dense. Um, I feel like if you don't mind plucking, this won't, you know, be an issue for you. But I had did a whole session of plucking. So right now I'm just sealing in that tent and I'm going to get into plucking some more. So I just put the wig on my canvas head and I started plucking. Okay. And, um, I do have a dedicated like plucking video on my channel already. Um, it's pretty old. I could do another one if y'all wanted me to, if y'all don't, that's fine. Y'all could just go watch that. But, um, yeah. So a few quick tips I can give you for plucking is make sure that you're keeping your desired style in mind because you don't want to pluck too much into whatever part you want. So if it's like a middle part, don't pluck too much in the middle, so on and so forth. Don't use really sharp tweezers. I have plucked so many holes in my lace, it's crazy. And you need to eye the hairline, like don't go too hard in one section because you're ultimately going to be breaking this down. So you're going to start from the back and work your way up. So don't go super, super bald on a back section because then it's going to look stupid because you're still going to have to pluck the section in front. I hope that made sense. But I feel like with plucking is really just trial and error, you guys. It has taken me, I mean, not too long because I've never been out here with no bulky wig. Don't do me, but, it you know, it's trial and error. And plus, you also have to find, like, what style you like. Do you like a more thin hairline or do you like a more thick hairline? Um, I think I heard somebody say, one of, like, you know, the more famous like hairstylists and stuff like that um they say like when it comes to plucking you really try to mimic your own hairline you know subconsciously so yeah but this is round two of trying to put this wig on and you know see how the plug job looks after plucking this time and it looks way better i did not go in after this um it just looked really natural to me and i feel like with like curly hair or like you know bigger hair i'm not gonna do a super super duper thin hairline just because to me it just don't look right but that's you know my personal preference and i was checking the middle part here just to make sure i didn't go too much into that because you know what if i want to wear it like this that's cute you know if i want to wear it in the middle part i want to be able to do that but i was just making sure i checked i was so like attentive to detail here in this video i, I love i'm in love with myself in this video but this is all of the hair that came out in the second round of plucking not the first round but like the second round it was a lot of hair that i plucked out but here, I'm just making sure that the wig is, like, matched up perfectly through my ears. Um, like I said, I pay a lot of attention to detail in this video. Um, especially when it came to the baby hairs. I cannot wait for y'all to see that part. Like, if y'all watch my videos, I feel like you'll be proud of me. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm just going to finish, you know, sizing this up. And then I'm also going to cut off my ear tabs. I, I really don't feel like I need to talk, to that, to talk through that. So, yeah. Now, this was something new that I did in my video. Um, I 
well first of all i'm just trying to show y'all like you know the plug job and i was making sure it focus and i think it looks really good that looks really natural really good to me but here i've never done this before i never marked on my lace or on my head where i wanted my wig to lay um and i feel like when i did it with this y'all gonna see when i go to clean my forehead off with my 91 percent alcohol i put this wig way more weight further back than like my regular wigs like normally i'll put my wig further up because i have a big forehead but i was really blown aback because i was like really i wanted to sit here and i let it sit there and it looks right sitting there too so mm -hmm. but yeah i think i will probably mark where i put my wigs from now on but you guys see that i'm using my boho extreme cream and um i don't use um wig caps and stuff i never have well i have but i don't like to um, I need to start because I feel like that's a part of the install process, but let's talk about this new method of installing this wig. Okay. Cause if you watch me, then you know, I usually do my flaps, but I just chose to do this all in one like round, like around my whole hairline, except for the sideburns, but around my whole hairline. Um, this is quicker and I feel like I'm progressing because you know, the flaps are really like beginner friendly. Like that's a very beginner friendly tip. And I feel like if I keep doing the beginner friendly stuff, then how am I going to ever leave the status of beginner you know what i mean so yeah i feel like this is more difficult because for me i have a really short attention span so when it comes to like dr glue drying and stuff like that i don't know i don't pay attention and stuff like that so i feel like this really forced me to you know grow up when it came to installs pay attention you know have some patience i didn't use a blow dryer not once okay i used to have the look for my blow dryer but the only reason why i could i didn't use it because i couldn't find it <laughs> i won't lie but yeah i did three layers of this this way and i will be back when we're putting this bad boy on Okay, so here y'all just see me mushy mushy into my head and all of that stuff. And y'all know I like to go in with a strong holding spray. This is my first time using the Fix It Super Hold from ORS. I know it's not new, but this is my first time using it. Um, I will say that I like it. Do I like it more than uh got to be? I feel like they're kind of equal. Like I feel like this got to be in the bed head or like my top threes for like strong hairsprays. I love all three of them very much equally. So now I'm just gonna take this elastic band and I'm just gonna tie that around my head. And my mom got this elastic band for me from Joann's and it is um, a soft 
what is it soft waistband elastic yo i love it it don't leave no lines in my head no dents in my head because it's just like it's literally soft fabric i love it but here i'm just cutting off the excess um what is that the excess lace that i don't need i'm not going to use or none of that just so that I can see and there's nothing in my face or on my lashes while I'm letting the elastic band sit. And I don't know. I really don't time my elastic band usage. Um, I just usually do something else. So right here, y'all see me combing all of the hair out. Um, Then I switch to a brush because I'm not about to comb all it out. But yeah, that took me maybe about 30 seconds. And then y'all yeah, was showing y'all the hair. I don't know why I did that, but this hair is super long and it's super full. I love it so much. But yeah, I let that sit on for maybe two minutes, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I'm very impatient. I'm working on it, but I ain't going to let that thing sit on me too long. But the two minutes did justice. Like, look at that. It looks good. So yeah, now I'm just making sure that everything is down. I know my sides won't be down because I do a different method for those. I'll talk to y'all about it later. But here, I'm just going to start cutting off my lace. And you guys already know the drill. So for this, just so I could get like a foot in the door, I did use scissors to cut like a flip in the middle and then I went in with my razor. But y'all know how I do. I pull up all of the lace that don't have hair on it, I'm cutting it off or as much as I can, you know, to make it look as good as possible, okay? Um, and I will give a disclaimer. It was a white, like, um, not white. No, yeah, well, not white. It was like a little, y'all could, you know, it was a little ashiness. And let me tell y'all about that real quick because I was being lazy because it was three in the morning and, you know, I work, I still have a nine to five, unfortunately, but I was working all day, but I had to get this video out. Y'all, I did not feel like cleaning up the glue that was causing it. I said, you know what? These baby hairs are about to be so dramatic. You're not even going to be able to tell. And in person, it really wasn't that bad. I promise. Like it was so exacerbated on camera. It really was like, and you know, on camera, you under harsh light. So that's why it was so visible. But in person, you really couldn't see that bad. But yeah, I'll be back when I'm done cutting off all of my lace. Okay, so here is where I do my sideburns. Um, I stopped using adhesive on my sideburns because my sideburns come down pretty far and I don't want to, first of all, I don't want to cut my sideburns off. Like I don't want to shave them off because in the event that I do want to use like my real hair or wear my real hair, I mean, I don't, I want to have sideburns. So I do a glueless method on the sides now. So yeah, and it, it's been working. Um, I don't mind the lifting because I could just put it back down. It really don't matter to me. But y'all see that line? It was a little bit of the lace, but it was mainly because it was a lot of glue around. Not a lot, but it was glue around there. So it all's gonna come together. Trust me. After I stick it down. But right now I'm just pulling out all of the hairs that are premeditated baby hairs. You know that I'm anticipating to put into some baby hairs. I'm gonna take all of them out right now, and then I'm gonna go in with my fix it spray again. After I tie this hair up, give me a second. Give me another second, another second. But yeah, um, I'm gonna clip that back and I'm gonna pull all of these hairs like really taut to the front. And then I'm gonna take my fix it spray again. Why am I parting that? And I'm just gonna spray in between the baby hairs and like, you know, where my hairline will be. Um, so that I could put my elastic band back on there for a little bit so that I can further that melt. And that's gonna also help eliminate that like ashiness around the hairline too so you know i told y'all it wasn't going it wasn't going to stay like that if y'all thought y'all was going to clock me <laughs> no never but anyways here i'm just trying to figure out like if i wanted a desire like not desire if i wanted um like a designated part i must i think like if i wanted a part or if i just wanted to do like one of those like pushbacks and i ended up doing a pushback i don't think i cut the part in 
if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I did. I don't think I left the part in. Oh, wow, I'm leaving it in. But, yeah, I did that, and then I'm just going to take my hot comb, and I'm just going to flatten just a little bit of it out. Um, Y'all know I like my lifts, so that's what I do in the front every single time. I always make sure I add a lift and give myself some height up there because I'm short. So now after that, I'm just going to take the elastic band off and the lace is going to look a hundred times better, y'all. It's going to look a hundred times better. Just watch. It wasn't trying to come off, but look. See? That looks so much better. You can't even tell now. All right? Just, y'all have to trust the process when it comes to me. Okay? Trust it. So now I'm just going to comb everything out. Um, I'm going to spray it again and then we're going to get into the baby hair. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to talk about this, too. So, I'm doing the Care Care Wax Stick. I'm not doing it. I'm using it. Um, I've never used this. Of course, I've been seeing this stuff since I was a little kid with Mingli. But, I don't know. I'm just always late to using stuff. And I seen this in the hair store, and I said, you know what? I'm getting it. I never use wax sticks, y'all. I'm never going back, though. I'll tell you that right now. I'm never going back. So, right here, I'm just pushing my whole hairline back. Um, the elastic band is off. And I just, I love this. One thing about it, two things for sure, I love the way this install came out. Like, really. So I'm using, it, like I said, the Care Care Wax Stick. And because that is wax, essentially, you do have to, like, you know, use a hairspray or something basically to seal it so it doesn't just stay as oil. You know what I mean? Like, because wax is oil. So instead of it staying oily and stuff, you want to basically seal it. So I think I'm going to use my big head, if I'm not mistaken, after I'm done. And then I'll come back when we're doing our baby hairs. y'all it's time for my favorite part so real quick i was really focused during this part and this is a long portion of the video one because i'm using a different method two i'm using different products and three i wanted a different look for my baby hairs i was a heavy mousse girl um because i used to watch a lot of erica j and erica j was was big on using the foam i mean the mousse you know even though she got her fluff stuff so i used to be really big on using mousse um, but I feel like that was just giving me the same look every time. So here I'm using a different method. I'm using this, um, razor comb to cut my edges down. I've never done that before. Um, I've been watching a lot of Monty Jean and I feel like I was kind of mimicking like a lot of what she does in her videos. So I like the way her baby hairs come out. So yeah, I'm really focused during this part. I was very attentive to detail during this part and I'm really proud of myself. And I feel like I did get the results I wanted. Um, if y'all watch my videos consistently, then y'all will know I was struggling, um, <laughs> doing the flat iron baby hairs and I did it y'all. I did it. But the biggest tip I can give you a baby hair is cause I had people like even in person tell me, Oh, how you did it? How you did it? Don't rush it. Um, I used to rush and I always ended up with the same look and I feel like when I really sat down and slowed down, I got, you know, what I wanted. So don't rush it. Um, keep your inspiration either in your mind or have a picture in front of you. Something. Okay. Something. Um, I did have like, you know, obviously arrogant tell your mind. Who else I'm gonna have in mind? So 
I was just, you know, thinking about how he does his baby hairs. And I'm not going to lie, I even looked at pictures a little bit just to, you know, figure out what direction I was moving in, you know? So, yeah, I'm cutting down my baby hairs. And I, I was checking to make sure they weren't too short. And I don't think I got them too short at all because I still needed something to curl. Like, if I wanted to cut more, then I can do that. But I didn't want to cut them too short at first. So, yeah. So since I did say I was using different products, I'm using the ORS wig grip. And this is a relatively new edge control brush. Yes, it is. And this is a flat iron. Now, y'all, let me tell you this little story real quick while I'm heating that up and all of that stuff. Real quick, real quick. I ordered the Bedhead um, Pixie flat iron off of Amazon. Do y'all know my stuff never came? It never freaking came. Like, literally, not it didn't come late. It never came. So I had to use this one. And this was the flat iron that I was like having issues with using because it doesn't close as tight like I feel like I have to really like squeeze down so what happened was it caused like my sideburns they were glueless so it caused my sideburns to lift even though it didn't matter because I was putting a wig grip over it anyway but yeah it, it it the they ended up working I'm stuttering but they ended up working like I definitely made it work because I was really determined to get you know what I wanted this time but I'm Amazon really blew mine because they really didn't give me my stuff. Like, of course, I got my, you know, my refund. But I feel like Jeff Bezos to at least give me a million. Like, because that's, that's traumatic. Like, the, I've never had to happen with Amazon before. Like, I, every time I ordered, I got my stuff. Even before I was a Prime member, I got my stuff. Now that I'm Prime, now, now they don't want to give me my stuff. What you talking about? Don't do that. But anyways, I'm just cutting my sideburns. Um, I didn't cut my sideburns, obviously, as you can tell in the beginning so now i'm just making sure that they are even and y'all i ain't never did this before i'm pulling them to see like you know which one i'm still holding on to because whichever one i'm hold still holding on to was the one that's too long wow i was really t attention to detail i should make that the, the the thumbnail i'm gonna put that on the thumbnail but yeah so here i am curling them and i was nervous y'all i was real nervous but I just was like, you know what? I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just curl all of them and how it come out is how it come out. So I'm not going to talk during this whole thing. That's what I'm going to tell y'all right now. So I'm going to just say what I'm doing real quick. I took literally every piece, curled them individually. Um, I curled them as tight as I could without burning myself. I actually did burn myself during that part. Um, but yeah. I curled each individual piece, and then after I curled it, that's when I started to obviously, you know, form my swoops and stuff. But I didn't use any mousse, any hairspray. I used gel, specifically the wig grip gel that I showed y'all before. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about the wig grip gel, you know, when it's at designated time.
Okay, so since I used the gel, and this is, you know, days later, I do like the gel. I do. But it dries so fast. Like, it dries super duper fast. And I understand that because it's like, you know, meant to hold your wigs. So I would recommend keeping like something wet either i want to say water like an eco styler gel or like wet line or something like a really wet gel next to you just so that you can get more time and more like wiggle room when it comes to that um i just kept putting more gel um i probably wouldn't do that with the information that i know now but if i had like mousse or eco near me at the time i definitely would have used that but like you know if you a quick pro with it, if you know you can whip, wet, whip them baby hairs in place like that, then you, you gonna love this. But if you need more time to shape and all of that stuff, definitely have something like wet near you, not water because mm, don't, don't, don't use water. Um, when I was fixing my baby hairs the next day, I used Eco Styler and it worked amazingly on top of this. So that's what I would recommend. But overall, though, like with between the the wig grip gel and the spray, and like I know, I know, people been talking about this stuff. I don't care. I want to give my own synapses. Okay, <laughs> I am gonna do a glueless um wig though. Well, I'm gonna do a glue a video doing a glueless method with those two um things because I really do like them. I I really do. Um, I do like the wig grip for baby hairs. Like I said, I will keep something wet near you. Um, but for real, for real, it's good. Like it's Gucci. I love it. It dries super duper fast. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't mind using it on my real hair either. Cause I feel like it would hold my real hair. But then again, Eco holds my real hair. Like the green Eco solid. Like I could really put it on my hair and then try to rub my hands over it, and it's not gonna go nowhere. But I feel like that wig grip would do something, shake the room. But yeah, so I'm gonna just let y'all watch me do the rest of my edges. Oh, 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 and I had to say too when it comes to eco so like i said i've been watching a lot of money jean and money jean she uses a clear eco that's why i see her in one of her videos using like the regular clear eco salad gel so if you don't want to use a wig grip girl use the eco but i think i think i really am making a transition over into gel for my wig baby hairs because it just i don't know like i feel like the fact that i came and i conquered with these baby hairs it made me like you know want to reevaluate how I do stuff now. So I'm just gonna be using this. I'm gonna just use this method from now on. Okay, from here on out, baby hairs with mousse. I don't know. They might be old news for me. I might do it to you know revisit the past maybe in a later video. But right now I'm on a jail kick. Cause look at them. Like they're not even finished yet and they look good. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up and let y'all finish watching.
Okay, so now that my baby hairs are finished, we're gonna go into styling the hair. So I'm taking this bio silk and um this am I gonna show it? Oh, I also took this as I am Jamaican black castor oil water too. I thought I was gonna show it. I thought I recorded that. But what I'm going to do really quickly is, I think, brush the hair out again. I'm going to section it off, brush the hair out again. Yeah, here it goes. This is also what I use, like, to wet it a little bit. Um, I love, let me tell y'all, I love them two together. All I did was I brushed the hair out, wet the hair just a little bit. Like, I did not soak it, wet the hair a little bit, and then put some bio soap on there. And when I tell y'all I loved it, it was so soft, and it, like, it moved so much because I didn't weigh it down too much. I loved it and I put mousse on it like later days and I actually like this more than the mousse because the mousse that I use made it crunchy and I don't like that I don't like that I don't like that this is like the method that I like the most with this hair like even now when I'm you know fixing it and stuff I don't put my bio stick on it no more actually because that's not mine it was my mom's and I took it from her because she was sleeping so I use uh, my chi silk infusions now and it works just the same but y'all I ain't finished yep 33 minutes y'all been with me okay and i'm finished so i do want to say thank you so 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 much for watching y'all and also another big thank you to your over here i do have a coupon code y'all know it's going to be shown throughout the video and it's also going to be in the description box along with a whole bunch of other amazing things from your lover collection um and i do you know advise you guys to go and check it out for yourself go see what's in there because i'm not going to tell y'all everything um, but yes, y'all, I just want to give y'all a really big thank you. I love everybody who stays until the end, even the people who don't, but they don't really get to hear that, do they? You guys, I have so much hair content coming up and I'm just so, I'm so excited. I'm super duper excited and I'm just happy that I'm being seen and I hope y'all stay blessed and safe. See you in the next one.